In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My good people, I'm sure you are well. We are in a new week, the second week of Lent. And today we are on day eight in our 25 days novena for candidates and all school-going children. We continue with the topic we started on Saturday. When we are stuck spiritually, how do we pray? On Saturday, we answered the question, what do we do when we find ourselves in a stalemate, spiritual stalemate? Today, we are asking an almost related question. This almost related question is about how to pray when we find ourselves that uh, we are very stuck. Number one, when you find that you are not getting out of the quagmire, when you find that uh, we, you, even, even your prayers, it's like they are not going anywhere. Ask God to quiet your spirit with his love. You may want to read Zephaniah 3.17. The Lord, your God, in your midst, the mighty one will save he will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with his love. And he will rejoice over you with singing. And you may want to pray. Heavenly Father, as you rejoice and sing over me, would you quiet and calm me with your love? As I am feeling stuck, would you settle my heart, my emotions, and my mind today? I need your quietness and your touch today, dear Father. Amen. Ask him to quiet you with his love. And from there will come out a beautiful prayer. Number two, ask God to fill you with a peace that passes all understanding. Ask him to fill you with a peace that passes all understanding. Philippians 4, 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 7. There's nothing as good as inner peace. When he gives us the inner peace, we are able even to pray and pray longer and effectively. Third, ask God for sufficient grace to wait. Sometimes what we need is the sufficient grace to wait. Second Corinthians 12, 9, we read, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is perfected in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly in my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest on me. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Ask for his sufficient grace. I know I have taught you what you need to ask God when your situation is not changing. And we talked about asking him for sustaining grace. Sustaining grace is the grace you want. The inner power you want that God to give you. When the situation you are in is not changing, nothing is going on well. Number four, ask God to help your unbelief. Sometimes it's because we do not believe that things will work. 
like the girl who told me that uh, she doesn't think God listens to her prayers because she has prayed. And she tells me, Father, I pray. Father, I pray, and the more I pray, the more I don't see any fruit in my education. The more I pray, the more I don't see any change in our family. Now, we can be in that situation like that girl. And we, we may want to think that uh, nothing about us ever works. <clears throat> if you find yourself at that point, ask him to help you, your unbelief. And finally, ask God to show you how he is using this for good in your life. How God is using your situation for good in your life. Remember, there is no breaking news in heaven. God is never surprised by what happens to us. That means he's in charge. Because he's in charge, maybe whatever is happening, he is using it for good in your life. You may not see it today, but tomorrow you will. There is always a silver lining in our difficult situations. How I would pray that we are able to widen our horizons to see what God sees in our lives and behave appropriately. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Monday.